Hello and welcome to Prime at 9. I'm Naomi Gikon. Now the news in details. Maharashtra, Maharashtrians will be carefully observing the political turmoil taking place in the state as the ruling Mahavikas Agadi coalition, a coalition between Shiv Sena, NCB and Congress, is struggling to survive as rebel Shiv Sena leader Eknath Shinde poured out his discontentment over Shiv Sena's airline with NCB and Congress. Let's have a look how things unfolded. It was in the year 2019 when the often termed quiet and shy Uddhav Thakre took oath as the Chief Minister of Maharashtra after forming an alliance with NCP and the Grand Old Party Congress, giving birth to a new alliance called the Mahavikas Agadi. But all is not well in the Mahavikas Agadi alliance as Shiv Sena party is facing a rebellion amongst its own party members with Shiv Sena Minister Eknath Shinde leading the rebellion. The BJP Shiv Sena Alliance, which fought the 2019 Maharashtra Assembly elections together, won 161 seats, with BJP winning 105 seats and Shiv Sena 56. The NCP got 54 seats, while the Congress backed 44 seats. Even though everything seemed in place for the next government, the Sena raised the demand of a rotational chief ministership with the BJP. And after major political negotiations, meetings and tussle, the BJP Shiv Sena Alliance finally broke. Since no party could come forward to form the government, Maharashtra Governor Koshyari imposed President's rule in the state on November 8, 2019. There were major political implications yet to come and the game of politics was far from over. After thorough negotiations, the Shiv Sena finally announced that it has allied with political supremo Sharad Pawar's NCP and the Grand Old Party Congress and that the alliance would be called the Mahavikas Agadi on the 22nd of November. But there was a total topsy-turvy of the things to come. BJP's Devendra Fadnavis returned as Chief Minister of Maharashtra after negotiating with NCP's Ajit Pawar, who broke a faction of party MLAs to become the Deputy CM. The Shiv Sena then filed a petition at the Supreme Court accusing the BJP of illegal usurpation of power. The SC then demanded a floor test, which the BJP lost as Ajit Pawar resigned citing personal reasons. And on the 28th of November 2019, Uddhav Thakre finally took oath as the 18th Chief Minister of Maharashtra, bringing the Mahavikas Agadi Alliance into power. It looked as if all was sailing smoothly for the MVA Alliance, but after suffering two setbacks and that too in quick succession, one being in the Rajya Sabha polls and one being the Maharashtra Legislative Council poll by the Bharatiya Janata Party, the Mahavikas Agadi was looking like it was entering an uncertain zone. Following the recent council poll results, Shiv Sena Minister Eknath Shinde, along with over a dozen party MLAs, reportedly decamped to Surat in Gujarat and is now currently lodged in a hotel in Assam's Guwahati, along with other Shiv Sena rebel MLAs. With the recent report that three more MLAs have joined the Shinde camp, at least 37 Sena legislators are siding with Shinde, which is two thirds of the party's strength in the legislature. This means that Shinde may be able to dodge the anti-defection law and these MLAs can merge with another party or become a separate group in the legislature. 40 MLAs are here. And all people who are here, who are here, who are here, who are here, and who are here, 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 Following the unfortunate turn of events, Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre moved out of the official CM residence, Varsha, and moved back into his home, Matoshri. <laughs> Uddhav Thakre expressed that he was ready to resign as CM and also as Shiv Sena chief if the disgruntled leaders demanded for it. Padarti Basanantar, Jetumi Kai Kam Kata, Tachanantar Jantechi Pratikria Kayaste, Yavishi Kama Yaste. CM Thakre in an address through his Facebook page looked teary eyed and morally defeated. He even mentioned that his resignation letter was ready if his party workers did not want him as CM but would still be happy if another leader from the Shiv Sena was to become CM. Many Shiv Sena party leaders have bought their support for Uddhav Thakre with Shiv Sena Mauti Samna editor Sanjay Raut expressing his dismay over the actions of Eknath Shinde. 
भाजपापासून दूर व्हावं पंचवीस वर्षाची आमची युती ज्या परिस्थितीत तुटली आणि तोडावी लागली दूर जावं लागलं त्याची कारणं ही एकनाथ शिंदे ना माहीत आहेत एकनाथ शिंदे सुद्धा त्या संपूर्ण परिस्थितीचे साक्षीदार आहेत कशा प्रकारे शिवसेनेचा वारंवार अपमान करण्यात आला With further reports coming in that more legislators have joined the Eknath Chinde Shiv Sena rebel camp it will be interesting to see how Uddhav Thakre plays out in this situation will Uddhav Thakre be able to save his seat as the chief minister of Maharashtra and also will we see some political wisdom being meted out by Uddhav Thakre as he is the successor of the grand old founder of Shiv Sena party Bala Saheb Thakre The STBO Tuli, along with officer in charge Tuli Police Station, raided a piggery farm where alcohol manufacturing and adulteration of illegal liquor was taking place at Dent Mile Area, Tuli Mogokchung District, on June 23. 86 cases of adulterated MC rum, methanol, two distillery drums, two empty PET plastic bottles, six bags of caps, six molasses or color mixture and rum flavor, among others, were seized at a site in front of witnesses with proper seizure memo. The accused is informed to be absconding. Hornbill TV spoke to the STBO K MOA to get more details. information <laughs> So I mean, I mean, just behind the railway station, no? Yes, sir. That is the big big pharmacy. Malik to two by himself, no? Acha. So I mean, I mean, color the red rose. So red rose, le. I mean, should be fifty cases, no? That is it. Acha. Uh, just for the boy, no? Hello. Methanol spread, na? Yes, sir. In two container, or distillery drum, na? Okay. We do three da. Or empty bags, na? Yes, sir. Hmm. We do three da bag, why is it, na? Acha. Or cork, na? The cap, bottle, la cap, do? Acha. We do six bags, why is it? Or do three da drum flavor, na? Yes, sir. Ram flavor itu tak kelum bayi sih tadi, na? Acha. Hmm. Kalau yang sis kurus je, pikir farm laga malik tu manusia jenis sih, na? Acha. Kalau dia dia asun asun dah sih. Acha acha. So tu. Acha tu pikir farm la malik tu hi itu adulteration unit laga. Kita tu tak kisah malik tu tapi Julai tak kisah, na kini kasih. Ini amu sebab ni ada biasa mana? Okay. Kalau mana dia lah dia lah pikir aja. Aro tadi kung bahas na kulo na. Acha acha. Aro do tanga ni do distillery kan do well established asus na. Yes sir. Yung mga bahana sa di iman kiri yung hanay. Tanga. Acha. Yung si one week bis na ako na kaya kaya don't show kado. Acha. Yung mga niyong do chaka kan do itum sabat ng isip na. Acha acha. Aha. So do do aro area school le do absconding asy gusto yung do accused to area school kan eh operations kan start kusha na na kibo han search operations. No start kusha man na. Acha acha. The situation in Assam continues to be grim as floods continue to wreak havoc on lives and property, including infrastructure and public services, since the floods grew. Frantic reports continue to be received about the crisis in Assam. According to the latest reports on June 23, four children were among the 12 people who were reportedly killed during the past 24 hours. The death toll from the floods has reportedly reached 100, while more than 54 lakh people in 4,941 villages across 32 districts have reportedly been affected. According to the reports, four deaths were reported from Hojai district, two people lost their lives in Kamrup, and three each were killed in Parpeta and Nalbari. Further, the national media reported that a total of 845 relief camps and 1,025 relief distribution centers have been set up by the district administrations in the affected areas where over 2.71 lakh people have reportedly been 
taking shelter for some time now. Amid a climatic and humanitarian emergency, the Chief Minister of Assam, Himanda Biswa Sarma, also travelled to Nagaon to assess the situation in the area after its set. The Chief Minister visited various areas hit by flood and interacted with the people who had taken shelter at relief camps at Kamrup College and Raha Higher Secondary School. As the flood situation in Assam continues to remain critical, Chief Minister Sarma had directed all the deputy commissioners to prioritize relief operations instead of following procedures to avoid delay in supply relief. Reviewing the flood situation during a video conferencing with the deputy commissioners, Sarma directed them to complete all damage assessments by July 5 and release funds by July 10. Further, reports on June 22 stated that a large part of National Highway 37 in Assam's Morigaon district has now become a sheltering place to people who have been forced to leave their homes after the floods submerged their houses. Also, Union Minister of Ports, Shipping and Waterways and Ayush Sarbananda Sonwal himself on Wednesday visited a relief camp that was set up at Pulgari Higher Secondary School in Nakaon district of Assam to meet the flood-affected people of the region. Sonowal visited the district to assess the support being provided and to interact with the affected people there. In Barbeda, the worst heat district alone, 12.5 lakh people have been affected, followed by Tubri, 5,94,708, Darang, 5,47,000 and 421. Nagaon, 457,381 and Kamrup, 400,214, says reports on June 22. The bulletin said nearly 60,000 domestic animals have been washed away by floods. Around 2,600 houses have been fully or partially damaged. Yet, amid the reports of grief, loss and devastation, there are stories that shine into the grim situation. Amid the flooding in Assam, functionaries of the Gachar District Administration rescued a nine-month pregnant woman from Silchar on Tuesday. According to the Deputy Commissioner of Gachar, the authorities received a request from a person from Kanakpur Road near Ratam Tauf Buniyadi Pachala School, Rangir Kahari, Silchar to rescue and evacuate his nine-month pregnant wife. This was immediately addressed, the NI quoted the Deputy Commissioner of Gachar as saying. Additional reports said that on Tuesday, 3,652 marooned people were rescued across 11 affected districts. During his visit to Nagaon, the Assam Chief Minister said that the government will be taking measures to find a permanent solution to the factors that led to the flooding. Visiting various flood-affected areas of Nagaon and Morigaon districts, he also reportedly took a train to travel to some areas. In a viral video that's doing the rounds on the internet, Jalugi Traffic Police Baron District can be seen dancing on the road and enjoying while on duty on 21st June 2022. Let's have a look. One of the traffic policemen from the video, Matu Embung, is on the line with us to tell us what encouraged him to dance in the middle of Jalugi town. Uh, thank you so much, Hornbill TV. Get joined Green Up with our Kragane. Haro, Abnihan Lagai do video Dikina Manu Sop Lagamud Halka Banai Dishe. Tosa Abnihan, I do video Banaoledo. Could they inspire, you know, inspiration by Gina Banalaga, sir? Thank you, Hornbill uh, TV. 
কর্মবিল টিভি এটা আমি যে এলেকা আপনি ইমান ডর করি না আমি যে এলাকা কথা করে দেওয়ার কারণে বেশি থ্যাংকস আছে সবচেয়ে পয়লা হর্নবিল টিভি যে এই জানাই দিয়ে আছে খুশি আসলে <laughs> পুলিশ কান করলে তো পাবলিক বি কি কব একদম পুলিশ কান তো ড্রেস লাগাই নে পুলিশ কে দেখলে ভয় খা নিচনা কিবা নিয়াবি বেশি মানুষ বি থাকে নিয়াবি তাহলে বি পুলিশ কান বি ইনগা না হই একটা পাবলিক কিনে আছে আমি বি ইনগা আছে আমি সব মিলি গিনে থাকি বলে কলা একটা এক টাইমে ইনগা লাগাই আমি মিলি গিনে আজি ওয়ার্ল্ড মিউজিক ডে দুলে তো সব মানুষ মিলি গিনে করব কই নাই তো আমি কি কব আমি সাথে তো ডিপার্টমেন্ট <laughs> 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 আমি আমি পাবলিক আমি এনকে খুশি পা নিচিনা আমি 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 পাবলিক কে খুশি পাই তো আমি মিলি গেলে এনেকা ধুনিয়াতে কি আমিয়ান থাকিব তো এই তো আমি এনেকা হে জয় জঙ্গি মরম করে না একটা থাকিলে বেশি ভাল হোম নাকি এনে ভাবে আছে না আচ্ছা তো বেশি খুশি খবর আছে থ্যাংক ইউ সো মাচ আপনি হর্নবিল দিবি কে কথা পড়ার কারণে এ এ এ থ্যাংক ইউ থ্যাংক ইউ ম্যাম থ্যাংক ইউ ওয়েলকাম থ্যাংক ইউ উইক লং টিমেটিক এক্সিবিশন অর্গানাইজড বাই নাকলেন্ট এমপাওয়ারমেন্ট of people through energy development concluded at the capital convention center in Goima the program was sponsored by the development commissioner handicrafts ministry of textiles government of india a total of 20 artisans from nagaland and assam registered under the ministry of textiles participated in the exhibition which featured several categories of products including can and bamboo wood crafts tribal textiles embroidery crafts jewelry and beads work Jude Crafts and more. Takam Chang, member of Project Operations Unit said NEPET has been looking into capacity building and exposure of artisans while also grading avenues to sell their products. He said that the artisans are producer companies bringing out different handicrafts. In some new areas, in focus on life UD for the improvement of rural villages. So while dealing with the working with the rural uh, people uh, it is found that like artisans even artisans in rural area has to be promoted so in that way we try to find some schemes uh, from the ministry and with that uh, fund we are organizing this thematic exhibition where the rural artisans will come and uh, promote their products and at the same time they will sell so actually these farmers i mean these artisans are from rural areas which they were brought to the cities uh, we are starting from ohima and dimapur it will be brought from all over nagaland the artisans from all over nagaland they will come to dimapur and kohima with their products 
and they exhibit their products and sell their products and they may even create the network with the customers. Mohan, it was a festival. At the end, it was a festival. Mohan, a festival. It was 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 a ini <laughs> That's all for now. Keep watching Hornbill TV.